Good evening, everyone. Tonight we have a box of 1991 Leaf Series 1. Looking for some hot garbage. Uh, we do have inserts in this one here, the Leaf Gold Rookies. I think in this series you got Mo Vaughn, uh, Luis Gonzalez. I think Musin is in here too. Um, Bagwell, I think, is in Series 2, which we'll rip at a later date. Um, but other than that, you got your standard stars and Hall of Famers. Uh, nobody worth noting, of course, other than the great Jose Canseco, which I'm sure we will see. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Beckett from back in the day. Okay, tonight we have the August 91 issue with Tony Gwynn and Fred McGriff on the cover. Okay, let's take a look at 91 Leaf 1, as they called it. Whole set, $35 on the high end back in the day. Definitely considered a premium product after 90's issue, which was very well received. I know 90 Leaf was a hot one at the card store that I was working at. Now you got Dave Justice there, 250, Henderson a dollar, Juan Gonzalez, three bucks, the second year card there. And then we got, let's see, Travis Fryman, a buck twenty-five, West Chamberlain rookie, hot one from back then, a buck. And you got Brian McCray, dollar fifty, and then Joey slash Albert Bell at a buck twenty-five. So they don't even have the the Leaf Gold rookies listed in here yet. I think this is the first, one of the first months it was listed. So uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get this open up off camera. Be back in a moment and get to ripping. All right, we're back here. Go ahead and get started. Appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Make sure you click that subscribe button, notification icon. Uh, if that button's down there that says, he, this guy sucks, make sure you click that one as well. All right. I'm not going to bother the puzzle pieces because no one gives a crap about the puzzle pieces. All right, Mike Carkey, Randy Reddy, Ellis Burks, Tony Pena, Randy Bush, Mike Greenwell, Greg Harris, Dan Gladden, and Jody Reed. Hope everyone is doing well out there. All right, we got Mark Witten. Uh, let's see here, Kirk Gibson. Could rot in hell for hitting that home run. Jerry Don Gleaton and Dennis Cook. Keep this moving here. All right, we got a gold rookie. Definitely would have been jumping up and down back in the day for this one, Mr. Todd Van Poppel. We'll put him there. He's not worth crap, but you know, just for a humble reminder of way back when. You know, you've been putting that in a screw down and saving it for your kids' college tuition. Saber Hagen. Etc. Uh oh, we dropped it. I damaged these cards. No PSA 10s coming out of this one. All right. Jeff Reardon, Frank Viola. Nice Tom Glavin. Blind of the Shields. Checklist there. David Cohn. There's a nice Sheffield. And I can't get this one open. Apparently now I'm a cripple. Another gold rookie here. Arthur Rhodes. Cecil Fielder. Greg Swindell. Robbie Thompson. So what do you guys think about Target's change with their product as far as not caring anymore? You know, doesn't bother me because I get tired of going to Target and finding empty shelves. So you got Sabo, Hal Morris, Lee Smith, Eric Davis, Ozzie Smith, Mark Langston, Dick Schofield, and Chuck Finley, Roberto Kelly, and Wally Joyner. Maybe now we'll be able to Find some cards online. 
would be nice for a change. Mark Grace. Tartable, David Wells, Seitzer, Bayerga, and I love seeing all these videos that these other guys post of their their runs at Target, and somehow they always come across fully stocked Targets. They just happen to randomly walk in, and the shelves, oh, I just hit a restock, you know, just randomly. Yet every time I go near a Target, it looks like a hurricane hit the section. There's nothing left at all, so. There's Craig Biggio. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I'd like to know where those guys' Targets were in Walmart, where you can walk in and just fine product. But then again, as, as you guys know, most of the videos are staged. So just like when people come across stuff at tag sales and they happen to find like 3,000 boxes of wax for $2 a box at a tag sale and they post it as though they just randomly came across it. Or look, I just found this box of, you know, three thousand dollars worth of cards i found it at a garage sale for you know twenty dollars and i got the guy down to 15 and he threw in another twenty thousand dollars worth of cards so i always love those videos as well all right we got will cordero gold rookie bj surhoff billy rifkin trying real hard to get the first base Ron Gant, PC'd him back in the day. Robin Yount, Jimmy Key, and Spike Owen, who stuck to the puzzle piece. But it's okay, Spike, because nobody cares about the puzzle piece. Now, if I offended someone in the comments, just let me know if you were one of those people that had to do the puzzle piece, you know, and you have it, like, all framed on your wall, you know, when you glued it together from back in the day. I'm sorry. Did not mean to offend you. It's Ryan Sandberg. Another David Cohn, another Sheffield, another Tartable, another Boomer, and Barry Bonds. I guess we'll put Barry Bonds over here. But you know what? Bonds, he doesn't deserve it. We'll cover him with the puzzle piece. Just because Barry Bonds was a douche. Neil, checklist. Oh, here we go. There he is. There's a drive deep to center field, maybe, and Sheridan takes a look, and it's in the upper deck in straightaway center field, just that flagpole. Goodness me, what a blast. Greatest of all time. You got a nice Barry Larkin. A little Barry Larkin up here. It's a good card. Steve Sachs is a Yankee. Still doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Steve Sachs is a Dodger. You know, players like that that were synonymous with a certain team, they shouldn't allow baseball cards of them in another uniform. Scott Leis, gold rookie. Dave Steve. Nice Greg Maddox. You know, like there's certain people, like Eddie Murray is always going to be a Baltimore Oriole. You know, they shouldn't allow cards of him as a Dodger or Whatever other teams he played for, I don't know off the top of my head. I forget the other ones. Sean Dunstan and Mike Harkey. You know, Daryl Strawberry is a Dodger, you know, or is a Yankee. I mean, he was a Met. Same thing with Dwight Gooden. Ben McDonald, Ruben Sierra, whose claim to fame should be. I was traded for Conseco with, well, with two other pitchers. So it wasn't a straight up trade because, as we all know, there was no player on the same level as Conseco. So, West Chamberlain, a rookie, would have been a hot one then. Oh, look at that. Another one. I should probably put him across the whole front row because 
That's probably the best cards we'll pull out of this. Definitely a nice set though. It's too bad they overproduced it. Because 90 was, you know, was a great year. I remember, like I said, I worked in a in a card store during a couple years in high school and 90 Leaf, you know, was a hot set. Everyone wanted that. You know, the Frank Thomas, the nice John Smoltz, you know, the Sammy Sosa, nice Dave Justice there in action. Another Ron Gant, Robin Yao. You know, the Frank Thomas, Dave Justice, Sosa, all those guys. I mean, that was the set. You know, that was a year after Upper Deck came out, you know. So, those were some good years, especially after 88. Other than 88 Flair, I mean, 88. I like score, too, in 88, just because that was a personal favorite. But definitely, it got a lot better for cards after 88. At least for the quality of cards. And then 91, we had Leaf, we had Stadium Club come out. So, it definitely got a whole lot better, you know, pretty quick. And then you had Fleer crap in the bed with 91 Fleer. You know, 91 Fleer Ultra. Then they came back, you know, pretty good with 92 Ultra. And 92 Fleer wasn't bad either. First Scheiser. I should rip that in half just because he's on the Dodgers. Okay, Rich Gossage. Fryman. Eric Hansen. Rob Deere. The human strikeout machine. I mean, pretty much I mean, back then they killed Rob Deere because all he did was strike out or hit a home run. I mean, it wasn't the greatest home run hitter, but they killed him. And it's funny because nowadays that's what every player does either hits a home run or strikes out. So basically, everyone in 2021 is Rob Deere. Another, let's see, gold rookie Willie Banks. Walt Weiss, nice Ricky Henderson. I'm the greatest of all time. Thank you. We'll put Ricky next to his buddy Jose. Oh, Chris Sabo. Poor Jose Akendo. Nice corner there at the bottom. We'll blame it on the puzzle piece. All right, we got Steve Frey, Jose Leend, Kevin Seitzer, another Barry Bonds. We'll leave him out. He's already got one up there covered by the puzzle piece. Oil can Boyd. And Larry Walker, second year. Be very careful. I don't want to damage any of these cards. Because then I won't be able to submit them to PSA. There's a Mo Vaughn. So I'll put Greg Maddox in the back. We got Mo Vaughn, gold rookie there. Mo Martinez. See, look, Eddie Murray as a Dodger. Just does not look right. I don't care. He's an Oriole. You know, I was a big fan of his, but still, they shouldn't allow cards of players like that. You got Juan Gonzalez, second year. Biggio. You know, it just doesn't look right. Eddie Murray as a Dodger. Dave Steve. Another Maddox. I don't think people realize how good Maddox was during his dominant run. You should go back and check out his stats. And then compare those to pitchers today. And I'm sorry, I can care less if they throw 105 miles an hour. They're a bunch of wussies at play today. Do all that working out, all those exercises, focus on the analytics, yet they can't throw more than 160 innings without getting hurt. Then they throw six, six innings, give up you know, two runs or three runs or less, they call it a quality start, and they feel as though they accomplished something. You know, Go back and look at stats from real pitching. 
but that's the game of baseball today. All we care about is war and exit velo and and this and that and you gotta focus on the pitch counts and this and that and all the other good stuff. And his whip and his OPS and you know that's it. Dwight Gooden, O'Neal, checklist, the line out the shields, and another West Chamberlain rookie. I mean, I think instead of focusing on all those nice analytics and all the stats like exit velo and all that garbage, they should really implement that automated strike zone. And Gary Scott, well, the corner got damaged a little bit. Good thing Gary Scott sucks. Oh, we got the leaf set, the promo card, the intro card to the set. Let me get that in a, in a one touch. You know, just because, I mean, it seems like technology for the automated strike zone, I mean, it's pretty much there. I don't know why they don't implement it. I mean, you still need the umpires for certain calls, but, I mean, the balls and strikes. I mean, it's a defined, you know, criteria as far as, you know, what's a ball, what's a strike, depending on the hitter. So, they should be able to automate that. Because, I mean, the umpiring can be horrible sometimes. Larry Walker. Joe Girardi, Tom Glavin, Tim Leary. I know I mentioned a trade earlier. Uh, first person to mention in the comments the two pitchers that were in that trade. I'll send you a few of these packs. Greg Swindell. Another Ricky Henderson. And we finish it off with a checklist there. Bobby Witt, Ramon Martinez, Eddie Murray again as a Dodger, Juan Gonzalez, Kenny Rogers, and Tony Phillips. All right, another gold rookie of Luis Gonzalez. Not a half bad one, I guess. Yeah, Randy Reddy. Ellis Burks. Howard Johnson. Another John Smoltz. And another Dave Justice. Alright, let me go ahead and just grab a few of these out of here. And set to the side. Two we rip. We got Brantley, Will Clark, nice country bunk in there. Eric Anthony, Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. Dave Henderson, Mike Moore, and Joel Skinner. Out of this last pack. Oh, we got a, another gold rookie of Gary Scott. This one went a little better corner, so thank God. Now I can submit this from the PSA. Hal Morris, nice Eric Davis, Ozzie Smith, 
Langston, Lee Guterman, Chuck Finley, Roberto Kelly, and we finish it off with Wally Joyner. All right. You know, another good box of hot garbage from the early 90s. Got a couple of Consecos. Got the gold rookies, of course. Everyone's favorite gold rookie from back in the day, Todd Van Poppel. You know, you guys know you would have had it in a screw down. Don't kid yourselves. Do a ticket to school to the next day and be like, look at this, I'm rich. So, but we all know now it's not even worth the paper it's printed on. It is what it is. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video.